What do all of these dishes have in common? Well, the secret ingredient is a seasonal staple you usually throw away. Next time you're carving a pumpkin, don't toss out the seeds. I'm gonna show you three ways to make pumpkin seeds. First, let's start with the basic sea salt and olive oil version. Here's what you'll need. A half a cup raw pumpkin seeds, one teaspoon olive oil, a quarter teaspoon salt. To get started, you're gonna preheat your oven to 325 and line a cookie sheet with parchment paper. Cover your workspace with paper bags or newspaper just to help with cleanup. So once you've cut around the pumpkin, you'll have this little lid. So go ahead and pull out all the pulp and all those yummy seeds and put them into a bowl of cold water. So usually a large pumpkin, about eight pounds, only renders a little less than one cup of seeds. And all we need for this recipe is half a cup. All right, so once you've gotten all the pulp and seeds out of your pumpkin, you're gonna put it in a bowl of cold water and then remove any of that extra pulp and fibrous tissue away from these seeds and put it into a colander. Now I'm gonna rinse these in cold water. You wanna lay them out to dry or else the seasoning isn't gonna stick. So I like to use either a cutting board or a cookie sheet and line it with paper towels or even towels. Next, pour them in a small or medium sized bowl. You're also gonna add your olive oil and your sea salt. I'm using this pink Himalayan sea salt. This is the time when you can adjust the seasoning to your liking. Transfer your seeds to your cookie sheet and bake for 30 to 40 minutes. Now depending on your oven, you might want to check them after about 20 minutes. Now once they're done baking, immediately transfer them to a bowl to prevent overcooking them. This is probably the most popular way to roast pumpkin seeds, simple and delicious. They're great alone as a snack or even added to some trail mix. This next recipe is a Yum Sugar Team favorite. So first you're gonna start by preheating your oven to 325 and lining a cookie sheet with parchment paper. I'm gonna use pumpkin seeds that have already been hulled and roasted. Toss your pumpkin seeds with all of your spices and seasonings. The sugar, vanilla, mm, melted butter, cinnamon, allspice, and salt. And you're just gonna stir this and toss them around to make sure each kernel is evenly coated. Bake for 30 to 40 minutes or until your house smells like sugar and spice. Be sure to transfer them into a bowl to prevent carryover cooking. I love to top my favorite bowl of ice cream with these or even add them to popcorn. It almost gives them like that kettle corn flavor with the buttery saltiness of the popcorn and then the sweet spice of the pepitas. Pumpkin seeds can also be topped on a salad and these soy sauce pumpkin seeds give this salad a salty crunch even a crouton can't compete with. Preheat a large nonstick pan over medium heat. Add your pumpkin seeds and stir occasionally for about 10 or 15 minutes or until they're fragrant and golden brown. Turn off the heat, add soy sauce, and quickly stir them to make sure they get evenly coated. I like to make a couple of batches of these and keep them in my fridge for easy toppings. They can last for up to two months as long as you keep them in an airtight container or a Ziploc. So there you have it, three ways to transform pumpkin seeds. Thanks so much for watching, I'm Brandy, and I'll see you next time for another taste of Yum Sugar TV.